NASA's longest living mission ever, has just made an impossible encounter after 45 years in space. For almost five decades, this remarkable spacecraft has made an indelible impact on cosmic exploration, delving into the depths of our solar system and interstellar space. Despite its limited memory capacity, which is three million times smaller than a regular smartphone, the Voyager probes continue to lead the way in space exploration. As Voyager 1 nears the end of its operational life, it has made a groundbreaking discovery that will transform our knowledge of space. What exactly has Voyager 1 discovered? Could the fate of this revolutionary spacecraft lie in the hands of extraterrestrial beings? Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 has made an impossible discovery after 45 years in space. If there's one space mission that has made an enduring impact on our understanding of the universe, it's Voyager. The mission was solely dedicated to exploring our solar system, and the Voyager probes far exceeded all expectations by venturing into uncharted regions of space. Voyager 1's remarkable journey has been a source of great fascination for the scientific community, providing a lot of valuable data about our cosmic surroundings. Today, five decades after its monumental launch, the Voyager mission continues to hold the record as the longest-running mission conducted by any space agency worldwide. It is truly astonishing that this space probe has defied initial predictions, which estimated its lifespan at only five years. However, what many people are unaware of is that Voyager 1 encountered a major setback during its launch when one of the rocket stages malfunctioned, requiring significant last-minute adjustments to prevent mission failure. NASA's engineers quickly responded with their expertise, eventually resolving the issue and allowing Voyager 1 to catch up with its twin probes in space. Yet now, after decades of successful operation, Voyager 1 faces a new challenge, one that defies conventional explanation. Keep watching as we delve into the possibility of extraterrestrial involvement and unravel the mysteries surrounding the shocking discovery. But before we dive into all the fascinating details, let us first establish some important context. In the 1960s, after the United States lost the robotic race to the moon against the Soviet Union, there was a shift in the focus of space exploration. The moon and space dominance were still incredibly appealing, so the attention turned towards a more popular and well-funded manned program. During that time, unmanned exploration took on a supporting role with missions like Ranger and Lunar Orbiter paving the way for future Apollo missions. However, the idea of exploring other planets captured the imagination of many, coming in second only to the excitement surrounding the Apollo missions themselves. As a result, the unmanned exploration programs naturally progress towards the next step, exploring other planets. Looking back, some people tend to overstate the scientific importance of unmanned programs compared to the political and technological goals of manned flights. They argue that the robotic missions were more scientifically pure in design and intent, downplaying the scientific achievements of manned missions. However, what truly captivated and ignited the passion of the American public was the promise of capturing photographs of the planets. It was the prospect of seeing those images that sparked the greatest interest and enthusiasm during the golden age of spaceflight. On September 5, 1977, a spectacular spacecraft was launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, which is renowned for its testing of missiles and space probes. This event marked the beginning of an incredible journey as Voyager 1 a spacecraft, was launched into space. Interestingly, just 15 days earlier, its twin, Voyager 2, had embarked on the same cosmic adventure. Their mission was to explore the gas giants of our solar system, Jupiter and Saturn, along with their orbiting moons. Little did anyone know that these intrepid explorers would surpass their initial goals and venture to the farthest corners of our celestial neighborhood. The Voyager twins were equipped with cutting-edge technology, even by the standards of their time. From their engines to their propellers and antennas, everything was meticulously designed for durability. NASA drew inspiration from the Mariner spacecraft but added intriguing modifications. The accomplishments of these Voyager probes have been nothing short of spectacular. More than 40 years ago, their early observations of Jupiter and Saturn's moons left researchers amazed and shattered preconceived notions about these distant worlds. These moons, once thought to be desolate and pockmarked like our own moon, turned out to be teeming with geological activity. Voyager 2, in particular, 
achieved several remarkable milestones during its journey. In 1986, it became the first spacecraft to pass by Uranus, and only three years later, it conducted a flyby of Neptune. To this day, Voyager 2 stands as the sole spacecraft to have embarked on such a path. As these spacecraft continue their extraordinary voyage, NASA has implemented measures to extend their operational lifespans. Over the past three years, non-essential components and heaters have been deactivated to conserve energy. This strategic move ensures that the Voyagers can continue functioning well into the next decade, with an estimated mission end date of 2030. For the scientists and engineers who have been integral to this extraordinary journey since its inception, the culmination of the Voyager missions evokes bittersweet emotions. Their unwavering dedication and tireless efforts have carried the project far beyond its initial expectations. The data transmitted by the Voyagers has yielded invaluable insights, fueled countless scientific discoveries, and ignited the imaginations of researchers and space enthusiasts across generations. It's important to note that Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were not ordinary spacecraft. They were meticulously designed to be stable platforms, with a rotation rate more than 15 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This deliberate design choice minimized any blurring of images and data as the spacecraft hurtled through space. Their impressive imaging capabilities never ceased to astonish scientists and the general public. Even before their encounters with the outer planets, the spacecraft began beaming back images of Jupiter while still several months away from the planet. These early images, showcasing the swirling clouds and the famous Great Red Spot, brought sheer delight to the folks at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. But it was the discovery of active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io that really stole the show. Io, a little bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most volcanically active body in our entire solar system. The spacecraft's instruments detected some peculiar signals emanating from Io, and the vivid images they captured confirmed the findings. Those images unveiled towering volcanic plumes and a surface marked by the ejection of volcanic material. One of Io's prominent volcanoes, Pele, has even erupted 30 times higher than Mount Everest, blanketing an area nearly the size of France. In total, the Voyager spacecraft snapped over 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons revealing the planet's stunning beauty and the incredible diversity of the Jovian moonscapes. Before we dive into the recent mind-boggling discovery, let's not forget that the twin voyagers have been uncovering breathtaking findings since their launch. One of the most astonishing revelations was the existence of Jupiter's rings, which, although faint, added an extra layer of intrigue to the gas giant. On top of that, Voyager 2 unveiled the icy shell of Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons. Believed to be over 60 miles thick, these findings challenged our previous assumptions about these far-off celestial bodies and sparked further investigations into the potential habitability of icy moons. As the Voyagers bid farewell to Jupiter, they received a gravity assist that gave them a vital boost, propelling them toward Saturn. Without this nifty push, they wouldn't have escaped the sun's gravitational pull and ventured deeper into space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 then went their separate ways, each heading towards new frontiers. Voyager 1 embarked on a trajectory that brought it close to Saturn's moon Titan. Enveloped in an orange hazy atmosphere, the mysteries surrounding this moon piqued the interest of scientists, leading to more studies on its complex chemistry. Voyager 1 then veered northward, departing from the plane of the planets, and began its epic journey beyond the boundaries of our solar system. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 embarked on a series of thrilling adventures that took it to the outermost planets of our cosmic neighborhood. In 1986, it made history with a flyby of Uranus, where it stumbled upon ten previously unknown moons, increasing the planet's moon count. Three years later, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, unveiling the extraordinary features of this distant ice giant. During its encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 recorded wind speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour, making it the fastest wind ever observed on a planet within our solar system. As the spacecraft zoomed within 2,980 miles of Neptune's azure methane-rich atmosphere, it provided unprecedented insights into this remote world. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the chilliest spots in our solar system, 
with surface temperatures plummeting to a bone-chilling minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit minus 235 degrees Celsius. Triton also boasted unique characteristics, including ice volcanoes that spewed nitrogen gas and icy particles up to five miles high into its thin atmosphere. These discoveries expanded our understanding of the incredible variety and complexity of celestial bodies even in the farthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. One individual who played a pivotal role in extending the missions beyond their initial goals was the renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. As a member of the Voyager missions imaging team, he passionately advocated for capturing one last set of images before shutting down the cameras on both spacecraft. These images would serve as a parting gift to humanity, offering a final glimpse of our home planet from the distant depths of space. Sagan's persistence paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards the inner solar system, capturing 60 images that included six planets and the sun. Among these images was the now-iconic pale blue, a photograph which encapsulates Earth as a tiny speck suspended in a beam of sunlight. This profound image continues to serve as a humbling reminder of our place in the universe and the fragile nature of our existence. Voyager 1's incredible journey has now taken it to a new and unimaginable frontier, as it delves into the uncharted realms of interstellar space. As we marvel at the astonishing discoveries made by these intrepid spacecraft, we also confront the realization that their journeys may soon come to an end. The clock is ticking for the Voyagers, with a finite amount of power remaining to sustain their vital systems. However, the indomitable spirit of exploration and curiosity that propelled these missions will endure, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars and explore the mysteries of the cosmos. After traveling nearly 14 billion miles, Voyager 1 has continued its mission of discovery, uncovering even more remarkable phenomena along the way. The spacecraft's latest and potentially final discovery has scientists and enthusiasts on the edge of their seats. In an unexpected twist, Voyager 1 has detected a mysterious hum emanating from interstellar space. This perplexing signal has puzzled researchers and ignited speculation about its origin and significance. Could this be evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence or a previously unknown cosmic phenomenon? The hum, described as a persistent and faint electromagnetic vibration, has been detected by Voyager 1's instruments. Scientists are working diligently to decipher the nature of this enigmatic signal, exploring various hypotheses and possibilities. While the exact source remains elusive, the discovery opens up new avenues of exploration and inquiry. As the scientific community delves deeper into the implications of this finding, the Voyager mission continues to inspire wonder, reminding us of the boundless mysteries that await us in the cosmos. In conclusion, NASA's Voyager mission stands as a testament to the power of human curiosity, ingenuity, and perseverance. For over four decades, the Voyager probes have ventured into the unknown, revealing the wonders of our solar system and beyond. As Voyager 1 nears the end of its extraordinary journey, its latest discovery of the mysterious hum in interstellar space serves as a poignant reminder of the endless possibilities that lie beyond our reach.